Hey, Ark of New Jersey, it's Matthew Acasio back with another weekly edition of helpful hints and exercises to get you through the week. Uh, I hope you're all having a great week. I hope you're all having a better week than my Yankees had as they uh, got eliminated from the playoffs yesterday. But you know what? I'm still a Yankee fan. I'm still riding with them. Let's turn this hat around and celebrate a good season. I mean, they made the playoffs, so we're going to do some exercises that actually uh, baseball players would do. They're good for everyone, so don't worry. You don't have to be Aaron Judge to do these. Uh, but some good exercises you would do with uh, a, a baseball player to strengthen certain muscles for baseball, you can do to strengthen good core, core muscles and important muscles for your body as well. Uh, as always, guys, with any of these exercises, if you have any questions or concerns uh, or, or need any advice, call us. InHomeTrainerMatt.com is a website. You can reach us through the portal on there. 908-875-3241. Info at InHomeTrainerMatt.com. I'm going to lower that camera just a little bit. All right, so the first one we're going to do, we're going to start... From one hip, and guys, you don't need, I'm using a weight to show you guys, but you can do this holding, uh, you can hold a stability ball like this, or you can do it with just your hands. You really don't need anything at all. Uh, so the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna start on one hip, and we're just gonna swing up like so. So we're coming from one hip and we're coming up across the chest. I'm going from my right to my left and then back left to right. So if you see, it's almost like swinging a baseball bat. It's a little different because we're coming up a little more because we want to work certain muscles, but it kind of simulates that uppercut swing that you see a lot of baseball players have. Nice and slow. Again, going from the one hip up through the chest and across to the opposite shoulder. Good. And we're all switch hitters in this, so now we're going to switch over to the other side. So now we're going left to right. Nice and smooth, guys. And again, you want to rotate your body just like baseball players rotate when they swing a bat. We're rotating through the zone, as they say in a baseball game. This time going again left to right. One more here should be good. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, the next one we're going to do is we're going to take the weight, and again, you don't need a weight for this. You can do this on your own, uh, but we're going to bring it down like we're picking it up off the ground. So we're going we're gonna to squat, scoop it up like so, and then back down. So we're, we're, we're bringing it down to the ground, coming up. And bringing it up to our shoulder now, notice this looks like a baseball player about to throw the ball. So once we come from the down position, and you don't have to come all the way to the floor, guys. You can, uh, you can hold this up a couple feet above the floor. You don't have to put the, the weight on the floor. Or you don't have to bring your hand down to the floor. If you're doing it with just your hand, you can. But if you don't feel comfortable getting to that point, just go as low as you can. Come up and go like this. So once we get to our hip, we want to come up right to here. So down, up, here. Down, up, weight on the hip, up to the shoulder. Down, up, weight to the shoulder.
And now switch sides. Again, you've got to work both sides of the body. So even if you're not a lefty, pretend you're a lefty here. Grab that ball, come up like you're swinging. last one we're going to do here I call this catcher stance uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get your legs about shoulder width apart and you're going to squat like catchers do when they catch the ball now you don't have to go as low as a catcher does but you want to get as low as you feel like you can and what we're going to do is we're going to start with the weight or the hand out and we're going to track it in almost like a, a catcher would catching a ball in his glove so we got the glove out in this case the weight or maybe just your hand you're gonna squat and bring it in squat rotate bring it in squat rotate bring it in squat rotate bring it in so you can see I forgot to put my phone on silent and now switch hold it out Squat, rotate, bring it in. Holding it out, slowly bringing it in as we squat. Go to where you feel comfortable. You don't have to get to that catcher's position. I sure am not. One more, guys. And beautiful. Excellent job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, you don't have to be a baseball player to get some good use out of these exercises. Any questions, please contact us, 908-875-3241, info at inhometrainermat.com or inhometrainermat.com. You can reach us through the contact portal. Have a wonderful week. You guys have Kristen this week. Enjoy. Have a great time. I'll see you next Friday. Thank you, Art. Go Yankees!